a beautiful drive to Howard, the village of the Bronte sisters. Howard is internationally famous for its connection with the Bronte sisters, who were born in Thornton, but who wrote most of their famous works while living at the Howard personage. Howard attracts roughly a million tourists a year. St. Michael's is known as the Bronte Church for its association with the Bronte family who lived at the nearby personage. The graveyard is estimated to contain between 40,000 and 42,000 bodies. Some graves contain entire families. Because of the overcrowding, the graveyard closed in 1883 with a new cemetery opening in 1893 just off the road to Stanbury. The Bronte family are not buried in the churchyard, but in a vault beneath the church itself, in the southeast corner near the Bronte Chapel. The church is best known for its historic association with the Bronte sisters, whose father, Patrick Bronte, served as minister of the parish between 1820 and 1861. This is the home of the Bronte sisters, which has now been converted into a museum. From 1820, Howard Personage was the home of the Brontes, the world's best known literary sisters. Inspired by the Moors and by the stories they put together as children, Charlotte wrote Jane Eyre, Emily wrote Uthering Heights and Anne wrote Agnes Grey and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. Works of brooding genius and passion. They, their mother, their brother Branwell and the sisters all died young. Their father outlived them all.
These are the moors where the Bronte sisters must have walked. This building was the Georgian home of the Baraclaw family of clockmakers and Emily Bronte even used the name Mosley Baraclaw in Newthering Heights. An array of local historical artifacts, documents and fine examples of Baraclaw grandfather clocks and watches can be seen inside. The Haworth village retains its old world charm with cobble streets going up with so many beautiful cozy looking cottages, pubs and the little curio shops. Such beautiful houses. Interesting names too. Here is a cobble cottage. This is the village Howard Hall, a place for the community. This is the 150-year-old railway line running from Kelly, Howard to Oxenhope. 